Hi, I'm Rebecca Vrand and I'm so excited because we're having a virtual wine tasting. Got winemaker Jamie Sloan, who's about to come to my house right now to deliver the wines so we can have this really fun event. This video is sponsored by Newware, who makes the most incredible wine fridge I just got for my house. So come along as I celebrate the fun I'm having with my new wine fridge with my favorite wines. It was delivered to my door in just a few days, but the thing is, I didn't want to wait to celebrate that I got it because I'm gonna to have to install that and I might need some help. It was awfully big. So right now, I'm just celebrating its arrival. I need lots of reasons to celebrate and I'm telling you, a new wine fridge is a big reason to celebrate. Today, I'm all excited because I'm gonna get this bottles of wine from Jamie. I had a big occasion, so I dressed up to receive the wines for tasting. We may be stuck in for the coronavirus, but that doesn't mean we don't have fun. And Jamie Sloan, our famous winemaker from Santa Barbara County, is going to talk about everything to do with the proper storage of wines to make your wine alive. Hey, Rebecca. Jamie, you're here. I'm here. Woo. Woo. Home delivery, baby. I'm how many feet am I away, Jamie? I think you're about 15. Well, that's really good. Rock the house. We're at least 20 feet away. Let's go this way. Watch your step now. I know. Hey, how do you like my shoes? I think those things are <laughs> alive. They are alive. They like remind me of the show Songland. <laughs> Songland? Yeah. Okay. All right, be careful now. Oh, gosh. Be careful. Don't go down. The gopher holds on me. It'd be quite the, quite the show. Incoming. Incoming. So what do we have in there, Jamie? A little info about us. Oh, okay. Oh, you won. What'd you win? Well, we were voted Santa Barbara's favorite winery and tasting room by the Santa Barbara News Press this past year. I also have for you, oh my gosh, there it is. That's the wine everybody's talking about. This right here is the 2017 coveted Albarino. That's the main white grape of Spain. Super delicious, very different, hard to find in Santa Barbara County, hard to find period in the United States. So we're one of the few that has it and it's a favorite. So this is our flagship wine. This is a Bordeaux style blend, Board, right bank Bordeaux style blend, mostly Merlot, a lot of Cabernet Franc. Well, Rebecca, right there you have it. There's your wine kit for the show. You've got the fabulous Albarino and the Borific red blend couple of wine glasses to be able to experience it in. Rebecca, I heard you got a new wine fridge. I want to show it to you, Jamie. All right, let's go see it. It's so big, I couldn't get it installed yet. Oh. So when I do, you know, then you have to come and see it, assuming the coronavirus is over, because I want to show it to you. Look at this thing. It's hiding in there. <laughs> yeah, I had to wrap it up in case it rained. This is what they call <laughs> anticipation, darling. <laughs> I know, but I wanted to have the wine tasting to celebrate that I got it. And then later, you know, we'll have the, the big uh, uh, opening of it when we can open it and it's all hooked up. But I'm excited because, you know, I love wine so much. It's a way for me to celebrate and work towards tomorrow, which is going to be that day. I'm preparing tonight by getting the corks out of these bottles so I'm free with my great Albarino. This Albarino is one of Jamie's flagship whites. He loves this wine, so I'm going to find out why. And I love red blends, so Jamie has a Borific. And I'm going to try that too. I've never had this before, so I'm going to open it up and taste it when he's talking about it. Pop goes the weasel. I'm really excited about this wine fridge because I made this very special blend of my own. It's a Pinot and I need a place to store it so it can last. I only have like 10 cases of this and I really want it to last a long time. This is the wine I want to save and have it at the most special temperature when I serve it because it's a very special wine to me. I want to make sure the people that drink it with me like it. So it's got to be stored well in this wine fridge from New Air. And I'm going to find all those details out with Jamie Sloan. So welcome to our wine tasting. You're invited. Here we go. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm so excited to have Jamie Sloan here, our Santa Barbara winemaker, who's notorious and who makes incredible wines for our first coronavirus happy hour. And I want to thank Newware, who gave me this wine fridge. So Jamie's going to tell me and us how to properly store wine. So I'm going to know where to set those dials on. So yay. So thank you for all coming. Jamie, your turn. <laughs> Well, that's a hell of an introduction. Let's just start off with a little cheers, everybody. Cheers. 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 
<laughs> I'm Jamie Sloan, and um, with Jamie Sloan Wines, we're in downtown Santa Barbara. I'm popping the bottles and like ready to jump in, so. <laughs> I have to just pour some wine because isn't this happy hour? Don't we need to start a party? I gotta start right now. So tell me, every what's everybody drinking? Let's see what you got. I've got I've got a Zotovich Grenache and a Chardonnay from the Wine Ghetto in Lompoc. Where do we buy your wines? Oh, thank you so much for asking. My tasting room is located in downtown Santa Barbara, but the good news is if you're not able to come to the tasting room, you can order online. So Jamie, I need to know, what is the right temperature because I have this new air wine fridge? What do I set it on for my, for my white wines? The, the purpose of that wine fridge is to be able to um, help preserve the wine. And so the advantage of these wine fridges is, is that they allow that wine to properly age at a temperature that moves it along slowly. Can we go like Chardonnays and Albarinos and just talk whites for one second so I can Absolutely. understand? Absolutely. In general, for whites, you're probably going to want to experience them in the um, mid 40s to 50 degrees. Um, I need to know about reds. There's the, there's the, the, what do I store it at temperature wise and what do I serve it at? Those are two different topics. Okay. I never knew. This right? is no so information for me. You kind, of, you kind of just want to store the wine at around 50, 55, 56 degrees. Okay. 55, 56 degrees. But if you that want a red or white, either, it doesn't matter. It's just storage. Oh. That's, that's why I'm bringing up the topic, you guys. Storing is different than serving. The challenge is you say, well, no, wait a second. I want to pull that white out and I want it colder than that when I'm ready to drink it versus having to go put it in the refrigerator for a while. Fine. If you have a dual zone wine cabinet or whatever you want, a wine refrigerator, then you'll have the ability to <laughs> put the temperature down on those and that way the bottle's ready to drink when you pull it out. This is my issue. Because I can only store it. It's like, what, 60 bottles or 50 bottles, so I'll get the right number. But that's all I can store right there that's handy for a party. Then, you know, otherwise, I need to store it like Dave, what you're saying here. It's got to go somewhere 55 degrees. It's like, where the heck is that going to be? Because I guess I need a bigger one or how about underneath my house or something? You don't have enough room in your wine fridge in terms of storing them at 55, 56, 57 degrees. Find a dark cool place the best you can in your house and that's where they go here's to cheers our <laughs> coronavirus wine time yay cheers to you all. So fun. and besides that great one with jamie sloan i also do wine tastings with my girlfriends it's a routine we're doing now about every two weeks during the coronavirus and it's great to pull out great wines to have fun with them too <laughs> This is my first drink, you guys, since the since the shutdown. This is it. I have it is time. Cheers, y'all. <laughs> Yellow gorgeous, darling. And what are you um, drinking, Pitt? I got some red wine here. My family says I talk too loud, so I get I get relegated to the bedroom. <laughs> Yeah, hey, Bev hey, Stephanie's got her her good drink there, and Tina's drinking healthy stuff. Where are you, Tina? What are you drinking tonight? I'm drinking some um, sparkling water. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got a martini. Patrice, what are you drinking glass, there? Wendy, that's pretty. That looks antique. Yeah. P.Y.T., what are you drinking? your glass. I think those are my glasses. That looks nice. <laughs> <laughs> The wine fridge can be stored all kinds of places in your house. You can have it in an outdoor kitchen. And here's some examples of how other people have used their wine fridge and where they've put them. It's great for inside or outside or garage where wine's going to go. The venting is one of the key features on it. You need a wine fridge that's going to vent out that hot air. If you don't have that feature in a wine fridge, it'll go off on you every 10 minutes as it needs to cool down. So those really aren't functional. New Airs figure this out, have the best technology. And they also have beer fridges because maybe you want one of those in your garage. That might be your hobby room. New Air has all kinds of great appliances, so check them out. They've got an air fryer and they have a cooling fan and portable air conditioners. They're a great company. They know their electronics. Click the link below and check out this really cool New Air wine fridge. I got the deluxe model. I hope you had a nice time with that wine tasting. Comment on this video 
what are you doing for your happy hours? And what's your favorite drink or what's your favorite wine? It's really hard to stand here in front of these wines right now and not drink them. I'm Rebecca Brand. Subscribe to my channel and ring that bell up there to get notified of my next video and make a comment. YouTube likes it when you make a comment. That means somebody else is going to see this video. That's just the way it works. It's an algorithm. I hope you're having fun during this pandemic, finding some ways to have some really happy hours. I'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye. <It> smells good. <laughs> Yay! Cheers to you. No fun. If you like this video on the coronavirus pandemic, here's a bunch more. I do these all the time. It's really been rewarding. Check these out too.